Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson. And we're starting off with multiplication. This should be pretty easy since it's probably just review. So uh, we can just kind of speed through this part, I guess. So just long multiplication. 677 times 74. So starting off with the ones place. Oops. 4 times 7 is... Uh, yeah, 4 times 7 is 28. Then 4 times 7 again is 28. But then plus 2 equals 30. Then 4 times 6 equals 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. Probably should just be review, so pretty easy. Oops. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I just lost all the progress. Oops, I'll just rewrite it back real quick. Alright, sorry about that. And then, going on to the tens place. We can just cross that out. Don't forget this zero right here. Since we are in the tenth place. And then 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 7, again, plus 4 equals 53. 7 times 6 is 42. Then, plus 5 is 47. So then we just add these all together. 8, 9, 10. Then, 10 again. And 5. Uh, I know probably with our phones and all that, uh, it's really easy to just pull out a calculator or something but later in the future when you take tests and stuff sometimes they don't allow calculators and like in official tests they do not allow calculators so it's important that you get all these basic fundamentals and how you do multiplication uh, correct so anyway the answer is for number one is this alright uh, moving on Division with no remainders also should be reviewed pretty easy. Division with no remainders, all right. Let's try number one here, 301 divided by seven. So seven can go into 30 four times since four times seven is 28. Four, twenty-eight. Then you subtract, and you, you're left with twenty-one. And seven can go into twenty-one exactly three times. So the answer is forty. So the answer is forty-three. All right. Now division with division with remainders. Let's try number one again. Uh, six, six, one, six, three, zero, divided by four. So four can go into six exactly one time, or it can go in, it can go into six one time. All right. So four, and then you subtract. You know, after two, one, six, three, zero. Then four can go into twenty, or four can go into twenty-one five times, since five times four equals twenty. Then you subtract again, and you're left with one, six, three, zero. And four can go into sixteen exactly four times, since four times four equals sixteen. Then you're left with 30, and 4 times, 4 can go into 30, 7 times, since 4 times 7 is 28, and that equals 2. Oh, excuse me, I made a mistake. So 4 can go into 30, 7 times, so it's not 70. 
it's just 7. So it'd be in the 1's place, and there'd be a 0 right here. So 30, 28, 7 times 4 equals 28. Uh, and then you're left with 2. So your answer is 15407 with a remainder R of 2. R2. Alright. Then, least common multiples. So if you remember, least common multiples are exactly what it is. Um, the least common, the multiple that is the same between two numbers that, um, is the least greatest. So, the smallest number. So, <laughs> I didn't explain that very well, sorry. Um, so for example, between, between... Uh, 2 and 10. Uh, just completely random example. Um, you probably should already know LC LCM already, so I'll just do a quick review. So multiples between 2 equal 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and so on. And then multiples for 10 equal 10, 20, 30, and so on. Since 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 3 equals 6, they're all multiples of 2. So if you multiply 2 by something, you get these numbers. Pretty uh, simple idea. And as you can see here, in this list, 10 and 10 are the same. And also, um, it's the least number. In this case, the list is pretty small, so it's the smallest number. So the least common multiple between 2 and 10 would be 10. You could also get higher numbers by, for example, if you continue this list, you get 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And 20 is also another mo common multiple, but it's not the least common multiple. The least common multiple is 10. But if you noticed, 2 times 10, which is 20, is a multiple. 20 is a multiple. 2 times 10 is 20. So if you multiply two numbers, that's how you get a com That's another way you can get the common multiple. It might not always be the least common multiple, but you can get the common multiple that way. So for number 1... Um, forty three is in order to get uh, the solution to this problem, it'd probably just be easier to just multiply. So forty three times twenty two is six eight zero six eight. Add those 6, 14, and then 9. And you get 946. Pretty easy. Alright. So, um, looks like that'd be it. And I guess have a great week. Bye.